something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on. It. To throw on second down to Smith. It's complete to Chris Conley. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here's Charles. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Three down, three down. Here's Smith now on second down. Forced out to his left. And avoids the contact by sliding. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Charles. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. But at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Now a handoff. This is Charles. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Wonder what's in the offensive playbook on third and 13. We're about to find out. Brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down, and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down, and they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down, but guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down, really put them behind the eight ball. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt, he'd take a repeat of his first. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And he will not make it. They stop him short of the first down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And New York set to take the field. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Yeah, turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. And yeah, they're going to speed things up here. Now Manning throwing on second down. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. It's hauled in by Shepard. The completion good for three and it's second down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really did? And this is taken in at the five. A gain of 32 that time. 
And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Manning. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. To throw, it's Manning to Vereen out in the flat. It'll be a pickup of only a yard. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. to his right. And now here is another interception picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now here comes Kansas City. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. As they've done all day, they run with Charles. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. From his goal line here, Smith. And he's got his man. That's Macklin. And a gain there of 11 yards. It fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra at the end with a short run. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. They come out here in the eye. Charles. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. They'll come out in the pistol. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll hand it off. This is Charles. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And 
And this one's going toward the sideline. They'll try to play keep away from Beckham. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. And New York set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take in the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Manning now on first down. And my goodness, another interception. A great lead, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. It's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. To put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.